You are a wicked villain, despite of all grace. Uh, I like Shakespeare for that. This is a Shakespeare. Despite sounds like a, a, a Shakespeare word. The, the word choice there. Yeah. Shakespeare, correct. It's from The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is one of his lesser known plays. Oh, I hate that. I hate that play. We're finding so many plays that you hate here today. Yeah. You know, Although the, the best time for this, and you can cut this, so... I, I'm, Dad, I can cut all of this. I Don't know. You, you, you can cut me. <laughs> I can get you yeah. right out of this thing if I need to. <laughs> Okay, folks, welcome back. We are here with Professor Friedberg, round two of Taylor Swift versus William Shakespeare, who is the better writer? <laughs> no, it's who is the better singer. What we're going to be doing is round two, the second BuzzFeed quiz on is it Taylor Swift or is it William Shakespeare? Oh, and let's just address some stuff real quickly from the previous video. One, many people find us a very wholesome father-son pair. Which baffles the hell not, out of us. Yes. Not, not doesn't seem to uh, jibe with reality, but we'll take the, we'll take the compliment, nonetheless. Okay, I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones in a faith forgotten land. Swift. You think that is Taylor Swift? Yes. And you seem pretty confident. No, you know I'm never confident. Relative to your normal level of confidence. I'd say it's right there smack in the middle. So we'll call it a five. Okay. Do right. you think this is Taylor Swift? Yep. Correct. It's from Ivy. And I do know that song. Everybody was mad last time that I didn't know all the songs. I do know that song. I've done a reaction to that song. So leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> I do believe her, though I know she lies. That's uh, uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Do you know what that's from? Uh, yeah, it's from one of the sonnets. Um, I don't remember which number. Miss 11 Grammys, Mr. Zero Grammys. Obviously, the person who wrote this feels that Shakespeare should have won some Grammys. <laughs> it, is, it is correct. It is from sonnet number 138. Let me wipe it first. It smells of mortality. Shakespeare. That King has got to be Shakespeare. And sorry, where's that from? King Lear. King Lear. Who, okay, so uh, who is he speaking to? He's speaking to Gloucester, who's been blinded. Okay. Gloucester? Lord Gloucester? Yes. Not Gloucester, Massachusetts, where we used to go on vacation. No. Which, lovely, lovely part of the, uh, lovely part of the state. Right. Correct. From King Lear. Is love a tender thing? It is too rough, too rude? I'd go with Bill. We think it's Billy Shakes here? Yeah. Do we have an idea of what that's from? Uh, a play? You think this is William Shakespeare? Yes. It's from Romeo and Juliet. Oh my God. I know, shocker, right? Yeah. Is it romantic how all my elegies eulogize me? Taylor Swift. That is Taylor Swift, according to you. I, that is Taylor Swift, because I, I remember analyzing that uh, very lyric in one of my own songs. Well, one maybe, of my own maybe we should switch... Jobs. We should, yeah. yeah. They've seen plenty of me. Yeah. It is from The Lakes, one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Who coaxed you into paradise and left you there? I have no idea who this is from. I'm going to guess that's Taylor Swift. Okay, so who coaxed you into paradise and left you there? You believe this is Taylor Swift? Correct. It's from Coney Island, which I've also done a reaction to. Here's the next one, number seven. Okay. Did, did the twin flame bruise... Pain you blue. I think it's paint you blue. Did the twin flame bruise paint you blue? I'm going with Taylor Swift. We think that, okay, so this was a little bit yeah. tougher for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, it, is, it is Taylor Swift. I know that. I forgot which song. Yeah, it's from All Too Well, the 10 minute version, which I just did another little thing on. Though the chameleon love can feed on the air, though the chameleon love and feed on the air. I'm going to say uh, Shakespeare, although the meter's a little uh, off. So you're so again, you're thinking about meter. Keep in mind that there's a lot of different meter in yeah, modern pop yeah, music. Yeah. Okay. Correct. It is from the Two Gentlemen of Verona. Oh my God! I haven't read that. Yeah. This <laughs> is since I was a gentleman. What was? <laughs> What do you feel of the two gentlemen of Verona? Good play or bad play? Well, I really like it, but it's like a maybe the first or the fourth play or something that he wrote, and it's, yeah. it's almost a 
crib of a, 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 a play um, by a Roman poet that he probably had to read for homework like right. in, in, the, in, in Elizabethan middle school. So it's, it, it's not quite a translation. Right. Um, uh, I love it, but right. is it a good play? No. Not a good, well, not no. compared to his other stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want auroras and sad prose. I want auroras and sad prose. I'm going to guess Taylor Swift. Guessing Taylor Swift on this, I have absolutely no idea on this yeah. one. Correct. It's from the oh, links. All right. All right. All right. The prof got lucky. And I'll stay forgetting any other home but this. Shakespeare. You believe this is Shakespeare? Yeah, why not? The okay. last one was Taylor Swift, you know. So we're, we're yeah. back to game theory? Yeah, game theory, yes. Uh... And I'll stay forgetting any other home but this. That is from Romeo and Juliet. I think that was in the previous quiz as well. I want spirits to enforce. Shakespeare. Do you know what it is from? The Tempest. That is from The Tempest. Can you name the character? Yeah, Prospero. Prospero? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody's favorite. It's from The Tempest. Correct. Now, did you ever see the... Um, who was it? Was it Judy Dench who did like the female Prospera? No, I never saw that. Now we don't always agree on the. Pl I like the play, for example, Titus Andronicus. You don't like Titus Andronicus, another hate, early play. Hate, hate it. You hate Titus Andronicus. Yeah. Of course, I don't know the play. I know the movie. Oh, okay. Where they, yeah. where it's violent and cool. But... Is that the Julie Tamer movie? Yes. I am the sea. Ha! <laughs> how her eyes do blow. She is the weeping welkin, I the earth. Then must my sea be moved with her sighs. Then must my earth, with her continual tears, become a deluge overflowed and drowned. That's with, supposed to be terrific. It's very good, yeah. 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 With um, Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. And, and sometimes they make the best uh, movies or adaptations or stuff like that from, from the worst plays. You are a wicked villain, despite of all grace. Uh, I like Shakespeare for that. This is D a Shakespeare. Despite sounds like a, a, a Shakespeare word. The, the word choice there. Yeah. Shakespeare, correct. It's from The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is one of his lesser known plays. Oh, I hate that. I hate that play. We're finding so many plays that you hate here today. Yeah. But this, at least this is a little bit more eclectic than just the Romeo and Juliet one. Yes. You know, Although the, the best time for this, and you can cut this, so... I, I'm, Dad, I can cut all of this. I Don't know. You, you, you can cut me. <laughs> I can get you out, right out of this thing if I need to. <laughs> yeah. The best part of all times was, was when your mom, Susan, yeah. convinced me that we should go to a production of Handel's Messiah at Lincoln Center around Christmas time. Yeah. And there's a passage in there that uh, if you put the whole thing together, it's we, like sheep, have lost our way. Yeah. But they sing over and over again, 40 times at least, we like sheep. Oh, we like sheep. Oh, we like sheep. We like sheep. And I turned to Susan and I just started laughing. And I couldn't stop and we had to crawl up the stairs <laughs> and and they're they're low stairs so it's like a perp walk for 10 minutes we had to crawl up the stairs just you know convulsed with laughter just to get the we like sheep yeah yeah because we couldn't stay it was <laughs> it was over yeah and this and this was not a welsh production no. <laughs> Sorry, no. guys. For our, our apologies to the Welsh there. Right. And the old widow goes to the stone every day, but I don't. I just sit here and wait, grieving for the living. I'm going to go with uh, Taylor Swift. This is Taylor Swift. I've also yeah. done a reaction to this. Nobody get mad at me. Okay. Uh, this, this is Ivy, I believe. Yeah, Taylor Swift, it's from Ivy. This is one of my favorite songs by her. It's a really lovely song. Yeah. I wounded the good, and I trusted the wicked. I wounded the good, and I trusted the wicked. I don't recognize it, but it, it has the, um, 
the rhythm of a Shakespeare line. It's got a pause after four syllables and then a six syllable thing. Okay. Especially in his, when he was young, he did that a lot. We think it was Shakespeare. We're guessing. It is not. This is the one you get wrong here. Well, maybe yeah, the first one you got wrong. Right, I know. There's still more to go. It's from it's from Daylight, and it is Taylor Swift. That's really interesting. I wounded the good, and I trusted the wicked. Good line. Uh, this is a state of grace. This is a state of grace. When it's really simple and short, they're harder. Yeah. They're harder. Yeah, yeah. Swift. Okay. After a pause, we have Swift. She's the girl, right? She is the girl. Okay. Correct. It is from State of Grace. The Chronicle of Wasted Time. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. We think. Correct. So, do you want to guess which sonnet? Um, a Shakespeare sonnet? You got it. Got it. You know, what's crazy about this is they're just giving us fragments. Yeah. When I was at home... I was in a better place. When I was at home, I was in a better place. Game theory? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Okay, this is a weird one because they don't have... Shakespeare, it's from As You Like It. All we are is skin and bone. All we are is skin and bone. I have no idea. I'm going to guess Taylor Swift. Guesses Taylor Swift. Correct. It is from Treacherous. Time, mystical time. Swift. Also Taylor Swift. Correct. It is from Invisible String. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I mean, if we ever do this again, I'm going to have a rule that the uh, questions are got to have at least like a verb. Five words. In, yeah, a verb. Yeah. Yes. Let's yeah. have an action on the thing. Correct. Falling feels like flying till the bone crush. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. And then in this, they have this really rude way of putting it. They say, is it Tay-Tay or the guy who abandoned his family? Did William Shakespeare abandon his family? No. He simply didn't live with them for about 20 years. I see. So, yeah. so it's falling feels like flying till the bone crush. And you believe that's Taylor Swift? Yeah. Correct, that is from Gold Rush, another song I've done a reaction to. Brought forth an incandescent glow, tarnished but so grand. I'm going to go with Taylor Swift because I can't remember Shakespeare using incandescent. Incandescent, yeah, I can't either. And I actually know what song this is from. This is Taylor Swift. This is from Ivy. Again, my favorite uh, song off of uh, Evermore. True love never did run smooth. Shakespeare. Do you have an idea of what Midsummer Night's Dream? Ooh, so we have a Shakespeare and the play Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. You got it, Shakespeare. It's from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. Very good. You, mm -hmm. You're earning your role as a mm -hmm. professor. This hope is treacherous. Swift. Okay, so the last one we think is Swift. Correct. You got 22 out of 23. It is from the song Treacherous, and as a reward, you get you get her dancing around in a chair. All right. I still haven't gotten the meme with the kitten from the first show. We'll get you a kitten. I don't want a kitten. Right. I want an NFT. Okay. We'll get an NFT. <laughs> That's a joke, guys. Don't take it personally. <laughs> now, this was really fun. I want to ask you, if there, are, if there are people out there, young people out there, a lot of young people watch these videos... And they are interested in going into um, maybe doing a, uh, trying to be a, an English major at a, at a college or a university. Is there something that you think they need to focus on that maybe they haven't been told? Well, um, yeah. A lot of, a lot of kids haven't been taught how to write a decent sentence. What's just like a general rule for a good sentence? Have a good verb. Have a good verb at, you know, like just like... Yeah, I mean, you can make a sentence right. out of a verb. Just short and sweet. Yeah, sit. 
Right. Put the action at the beginning of the sentence. Yeah. What do you look for in a good essay? Short, snappy sentences. Mm -hmm. And um, sentences that don't have a whole bunch of, you know, like prepositional phrases right. or which and that clauses and that just keep right. going on and on and on and right. on. And it's not the kids' faults. It's our fault because we're the people who taught them how to write that way. Right. You write for the test. Right? Mm -hmm. You write for grade level. And what does grade level mean? How many words are in the sentence? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if they, you know if they're in the right order right. or if they're the right words, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> or if the, or if the sentence has got a verb in it. Right. It's just the more words in the sentence uh, we tell uh, our, our students, the smarter they are. Yeah. And uh, supposedly it's probably apocryphal, but somebody. Uh, did an analysis of, of Shakespeare and said he was like fifth to eighth grade level. Right, of course, because... Yeah. Well, well that's, that's why he doesn't get any Grammys. Right. No that's respect. Why, no yeah. respect. And so it's as, it's as if nobody paid attention to Ernest Hemingway, who was yeah, a, yeah. a really marvelous writer. Yeah. I also want to express my appreciation. It's rare that someone pays this much uh, attention to me. Okay, good. So a t a, a appreciation sent out to all the, uh, the very kind comments, the very nice comments that people uh, yes. sent in on the previous one. Yes. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this one as well. Uh, it, is, it is Christmas, so from these two Jews to you. That's right. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Joyous Kwanzaa. Until next time. Good Yontif. Good Yontif. Keep playing.